Welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we are looking at the Copilot User Management API. Especially, we are going to explore this API using actions. So the User Management APIs are available from GitHub. This Copilot User Management API is right now is in public beta. And you can expo explore all these features. We will be discussing two of the main things. One is the listing all copilot seat assignments for an organization and then go for the remove user from copilot subscription. These are the two APIs we are using. The remaining APIs based on your requirement, you can explore further. And maybe the adding users to the copilot subscription is one of the important things you can explore. Go to the GitHub API REST API and there is a copilot section under the copilot user management. All the API documentation is available in it with a detailed sample request and response. You can use uh, either the curl command or JavaScript or CLI. We are using actions for automating all these processes that will help us to schedule the actions in a regular interval. The first action which is available in the marketplace is the copilot usage report. The copilot usage report provide you all the information of copilot seat assignment for an organization. The similar kind of report is available for the organization administrator in the GitHub platform itself. Under the organization settings, Copilot get report will provide almost similar reports. In our report, we have added some additional fields here, like when the seats got updated, which team this particular user is belonging to, any pending cancellation dates. So some of the additional fields are there compared to the out of the box report available from GitHub platform. You can integrate this um, action as part of your workflow and schedule in a monthly basis or a bi-weekly basis. You can observe the behavior of Copilot usage pattern. Integration is very simple. Define an action workflow. I have defined the workflow using a trigger called workflow dispatch, indicating that this particular workflow will be driven or will be triggered manually. So a manual trigger can be done or you can say on schedule and use the cron functions or the expressions to define the schedule of this workflow that will generate the reports. The action, our copilot usage report action, one of the requirement is you need a path token for accessing the details, which needs to have a read write access to GitHub copilot for business under the organization permissions. When you create the path token, ensure that the token resource owner is the organization, not an individual and also give the permissions for reading and writing the GitHub Copilot business under organization permission. As we are only extracting the data, read is fine. There is no need for the write operation unless you are going to use the token for adding a user or adding a team to the GitHub organization. Once the token is created, the workflow is defined with two steps. The first step is our Copilot usage report action. There are three different parameters passed. There is an indentation issue here. After width, these three should go inside. Indent inside the width, close. The first one is our token, whatever the path token we created, and an organization name against which we are looking at the Copilot seat report. Then specify a CSV path. Any CSV file name is fine for here and use the same file name for uploading the usage report. So the next action is upload artifacts, which will upload this report, which is created as part of our action into the artifacts, build artifacts area. Ensure that the CSV path mentioned in the first step should be mentioned as a path in the upload artifacts action. So that's the only relationship. There is no specific format for the CSP path. You can specify like any, any format or directory or file name is fine. 
only repeat that as part of the path in the upload artifact action once it's uh, complete the workflow is executed under the artifacts of workflow area you will get the copilot usage report in a zip format you can download and extract the csv out of that which contain all the information about copilot usage in an organization or the seats assigned to different users when it is assigned any update happened in between and when the last time this user is used if the last activity at is blank indicate that he is never used that seat it's a no activity or the copilot seat assignment is not used by the individual and last activity editor shows the activity editor it can be vs code or intellij or android studio whichever the editor the user is using and in case you have cancel the user or the cancel the seat assignment in the middle of the month you can see a pending cancellation date normally if you cancel the seat assignment in the middle of a billing month the cancellation will be affected from the next billing cycle onwards pending cancellation date will show you when the end of this billing cycle and if it is part of a team sometimes we provide the copilot license to teams instead of individual users then the team information also will be available as part of this action export this is the usage report and going to the next one there is a copilot user management action this action will help you to especially fine tune or optimize the cost and seat usage for your organization it looks for unused to copilots for business seat assignment for the organization in terms of two angles one is if the user is never used then the activity date or the last activity date will be blank indicating that the user is inactive or he is never used this copilot seat or based on the last activity date you can see that whether the user is used copilot for the last 20 days or 30 days or one month time and take a decision whether to continue to give the seat to the resource or reassign that seat to someone else there are multiple reports and del elimination activities you can perform using copilot user management action here also start with a pat token creation you need to create a pat token and here as we are acting on the copilot seat assignment you need the right access as well not only read access if you are enabled to copilot for all members in your organization then the delete api will not work delete api will work only if you assign the seats for a selected members or the selected teams so ensure that this condition is met before using the action but in case this condition is not met you can use this action for getting the unused or inactive user information and manually remove them from the copilot seat assignment the first sample workflow is a manual trigger you can trigger the reporting elimination all activities in a manual way and this action have multiple inputs requirements the organization name and csv path for reporting each and every activity is uh, is reported these two are mandated so that you will get the report saying that these are the inactive users or these are the users got deleted so that information is captured for that you need the organization name and csv path and the next attribute is is delete indicating that do you want to eliminate the inactive user by default it is false if you are passing as a true indicate that you need to invoke the delete user api and delete the user assignment or the copilot seat assignment for a particular user or if you need only the report keep it aside as it's having a default value as false there is no need for passing this information inactive only means you need to remove only the inactive users who are never used the copilot seat at all so from the starting onwards the users never used the copilot seat then remove them 
that is the inactive only by default it is false if you pass it as pa uh, true indicate that i need to remove only the inactive users so a combination of inactive only plus is delete these two ensure that all inactive assignment or all inactive users are removed from the copilot seat assignment if you are passing only inactive user inactive only as true you will get the report but it will not be removed from the seat assignment you can double check and manually remove that users from your seat assignment now the other input is the inactive days if you want to remove the or identify the inactive users for a particular number of days by default it is 25 days if you feel that you need last 60 days whoever is not used to copilot for the last 60 days i want to remove them from the system it is being a long time the seat assignment is done they are consuming the license but not using copilot then you can remove them based on the number of days so the default value is set as 25 targeting a monthly scheduled reporting and removal of inactive users you can schedule this workflow over the 26th or 27th of the billing month so that you will get enough time to eliminate the users or remove the seat assignment in case you need to revert next a couple of days for reverting otherwise by the next billing cycle onwards this seat will be removed and the cost is optimized all these inputs as it's a manual triggering that is a workflow dispatch action inputs are captured as workflow input and that is passed as part of copilot user management here in copilot user management action as well we have two steps one is for executing the user management action second one is for uploading the artifacts so ensure that you are using the same csv path for both the places as part of copilot user management and as part of the path specification in upload artifacts once you define the workflow dispatch with the input parameters it comes under the workflow execution window you can run the workflow manually by selecting and passing the different informations so the organization name you can set its default value here we have specified octodemo you have a different org name you can specify that and the csv file name and elimination is record or remove only the inactive users you can decide which one is required and also the number of inactive days by default it is 25 you can modify according to your requirement and there are a couple of sample workflows provided here uh, in case you are going for a scheduled model you may not pass each and every input instead of workflow dispatch go for a schedule with a clone job indicating when this particular workflow needs to be executed for the copilot user management report which gives only the inactive users you can specify the org name token and csp path these three are mandatory and specify inactive only equal to true delete is not passed that indicate that only report the inactive users here also there is a indentation issue this needs to go inside ensure that anything coming under the width should go inside as a indentation needs to be done properly and sample workflow 2 the exactly same inactive users you need to eliminate then pass two parameters here inactive only is true is delete is true this will try to delete the users from the copilot seat assignment the third one is you are going to report all inactive users and users inactive for past 50 days then you can specify that inactive days 50 that by default include the inactive users also and this is reporting and for elimination you specify the days and is delete equal to true these two and the different parameters are explained in detail here exported fields you have the similar fields here along with that there is a status indicating what's the status of this user if it is a reporting scenario the status will be pending cancellation otherwise it will show us deleted 
and you can use the remove teams along with the remove users right now the code contain remove users enhance it with the remove teams in case you want to remove the entire team altogether and you have the complete reports available only inactive and the inactive users for a particular number of days that's a report captured here not all the seat assignment in case you need all the seat assignment you need to use the copilot usage report so there are two different actions one is copilot usage report action which report copilot seat assignment for an organization copilot user management will help you to optimize the cost by removing the unused copilot seats using the inactive users and users who are not active for past x number of days the code is available so you can fork the repository from this link you go to the link the repo is publicly available you can go through the different data points available here go ahead and use this repositories thank you